to go. Thank you, Fire Safe. Happy New Year's! Wait a second. Hello, and welcome to the 2024 Smite Keynote. This is my favorite time of the year. I love reuniting with the Smite community here at the Smite World Championship at Esports Stadium Arlington. We have the best community in the gaming world, and the team at Titan Forge Games always gets refueled and excited for the year to come, seeing your passion. They're also refueling Whether on that's their team in fuel. person or online <laughs> in the tweets, TikToks, fan art, and co streams that fill our feeds this time of year. But this year is extra special. We're celebrating 10 years of Smite, and we're crowning our 10th Smite World Champions. So you know we're pulling out all of the stops today. Smite Year 10 has been a huge accomplishment for the team. For the first time, we shipped five seasons in a single year. We've done huge conquest updates, going from a monster slayer to the river Styx, and taking a swing through the voodoo lands before landing right here on the World Championship stage. We've welcomed six oh, new yeah. gods to the battleground this year. It's all coming the together! The and the Manticore Martikaros turned from dreaded NPCs into playable gods. The Maya and Voodoo Pantheons got long-awaited new additions in Ishal and Maman Brigitte, and everyone's favorite boat boy, Charon, paddled into battle, while the ghostly whale, Bake Kujira, swam right alongside him. Smite has been fortunate enough to partner with even more great franchises this year, welcoming the Planeswalkers of Magic the Gathering, the heroes and villains of G.I. Joe, and the VTubers of Vishojo to the Battleground of the Gods. And we extended our partnerships with Avatar The Last Airbender, Monster Cat, and RuneScape, meaning you can now defeat Bob Ross as a sandwich lady. Man, Smite is wild. Of course, we also had three sweet tier fives, fun color forge tech, and we discovered a deeper love of food. It's been a hell of a year, but we think 2024 is going to be even bigger for Smite. Everything starts now with the year 11 celebration. Just play 11 games of Smite before January 23rd to unlock your favorite tier four unlimited skit. You'll also get an 11 day account booster and 11 bonus chest rolls. A season of worlds chest, a pick your own god chest, a bal avatar chest, a bal cosmetics chest, a pick your own voice god chest. A cutesy mm -hmm. avatar chest, a champion's chest, and a godlike chest. Wow, my god. <sighs> That's a lot of chests. And you get the current battle pass too? Who approved this deal? So what are you waiting for? Go play some Smite. Well, finish listening to this keynote first, mm -hmm. and then go play some Smite. True. Enough true, with the true, recap. True, true. Are you ready to hear about what's coming in Smite Year 11? Mm -hmm. I guess there's no one better to give you a quick overview than the one, the only, Lore Lady. <laughs> World premiere. Fellow World traveler, premiere. stay for a spell, for there are stories and tales still to be told. Stories of the sky, stories of the stars and all the heavenly bodies, present, past, and yet to be born. But the stories are starting to fray. <laughs> the order I have seen put into motion drowned in chaos. The yokai of despair churns up the sea and raises the tides, threatening to drown out the earth I love. With the rising seas comes things that should have stayed drowned. A madness creeps ever closer to the surface. It is time for order to be restored. The skies will descend and blanket the earth. I will be the barrier that holds the madness at bay. For I am Newt. Told you guys you're gonna be pumped the for the new god. I am the stars, and it is time for the sky to descend and protect all I hold dear. Lore Lady That's right. is Newt, Newt. The Lore Lady will be Smite's 130th god. The team pioneered all new tech to bring this community favorite to life. Just take one look yep. at her ethereal hair, and you can tell Newt brings a whole new level of detail to Smite. 
we really tried to capture the feel of the illustrations that have represented Lord and Lady throughout the years while translating them into moving 3D space. As a hunter, Newt will hurl beams of pure starlight at her foes, phase shift out of range of assassins, and call down black holes. Oh, yeah. to this is a baby announcement compared to what's to come. Newt will work perfectly in the duo lane alongside her husband, Geb. We'll share many more details about Newt before her release in the second update of Year 11, currently targeted for February 20th. But even before you can play as Newt, you'll feel her impact on the Conquest Battleground. Let's take a first look at the Year 11 Conquest map. Oh. World premiere. World premiere. God, they brought back the pyro portal. Year 11 kicks off with a new conquest map, uh -huh. full of Newt's celestial influence. The first thing you'll notice are the all-new Order and Chaos spaces. Yep. The Order base retains its Greco-Roman theming, but becomes more open with elements of the base floating amongst the stars. The Chaos base is now backed by a wall of living lava, becoming a true Forge of the Titans. You'll also find a new set oh, of yeah. celestial portals connecting the duo lane to the solo lane. Hmm. Now it's easier than ever to rotate for that big team fight across the map, but there's risk and reward. Time spent rotating Rotating, it's time you can't spend farming. You'll have to stand on the pad for a few seconds before you and any teammates can teleport. That other portal is going to make sound and effects, warning mm -hmm. enemies that you are on the way. And once you teleport, you'll have to wait before you can use the portal again. So make sure you really want to join that fight. It's a one way trip and you can easily <coughs> join a battle that's already lost. Watch out for the new celestial comments dropping from the skies on every map. Yeah, as if I didn't get ganked enough. In a semi-random location, <laughs> will be attacked for gold and EXP. The final hit will crack the comment open and release the fan favorite, Indra's Scepter, an item any player can pick up to get their own mini turret that zaps nearby enemies. Okay, and our okay. old pal, the Fire Giant, has learned some new tricks. First is an all-new ability, Firefall, a beam of, you guessed it, Oh, it follows you. This slow-moving beam heals the FG for the damage it deals, so oh. be sure to stay out of the way. There's also a new mechanic to the fight, effigies. If CC, okay. these will grant your team a buff to help fight the fire giant. Oh. And last but not least, it's now easier to tell when the fire giant has become enhanced with new oh, cool. materials and abilities. No. Of course, no. with every new season comes major new gameplay updates. First up, relics. We're absorbing a lot of the best parts of the recipe system into a new take on relics and shards. Now all relics can be upgraded for free by completing in-game quests. All relics will have only one strong upgrade path, but many are buffed or have brand new effects. Interesting. Shards are getting new options as part of this relic right. update with three additional new passive shards available to select. These shards will give you an ongoing passive effect inspired by three of our most popular recipes. Two additional new types okay. of wards are coming too. Proximity Trap, which detonates to slow and reveals enemies when they pass by, and Raven Sight, which travels in a straight line across the map and grants vision of everything it passes. We think these wards will add more depth to the vision of control battle okay. in Smite, <laughs> opening up new creative play styles. Smite Year 11, with the new Conquest map and major gameplay updates, will drop on January 23rd. Can't wait to learn more about exactly how all these changes will work? Don't worry, you just gotta tune in at 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, January 13th, Tomorrow's to get all the details the full of the patch patch notes. show live from the eSports Stadium Arlington. Be sure to log in to try all these wild changes for yourself. There's more planned for Smite Year 11, but now it's time to talk about something else. Something truly, truly special to all of us here at Titan Forge Games. We've spent 10 years together in Smite, but now it's time for something new something more beautiful than ever before, something with more impact, more strategy, and more creativity, something we've all been dreaming about for a long, long time. Introducing 
world premiere. I woke up this morning, yeah, feeling reborn, and it's like a new dawn. The misery's off, the energy's on, and I'm feeling strong. Yeah, something's evolving. If I'm being honest, nothing is. Welcome to the new age of night, everybody. <laughs> let's go! Oh my god, let's go! Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be a whole new game. Welcome to the goddamn future, kids. <laughs> This is why it's my last year of streaming Smite. Because we're going to Smite 2 full time as soon as it's released. What's 11 years later. You ask? This isn't just a slightly larger than normal season. It's not a balance pass that we're calling a sequel. Smite 2 is the next generation of cross-platform third-person mobile. This is a true sequel to Smite. Fully modernized. It's a real number two, guys. In Unreal Engine 5. That's a two-generation yep. leap over Smite's Unreal 3, which first released back in 2006. From the ground we up. We've a lot to talk about today. It's so not a port. Smite 2 has all the it's things you brand new. love about Smite, and so much more. It's got the depth of strategy and tactics that you can only find in a three-lane MOBA. Competition is core to our DNA, and rest assured that Smite 2 is a competitive game that rewards your time and your skill. But unlike those other MOBAs, Smite 2 is amazing third-person combat. Whether you're coming from MOBAs, shooters, action games, or MMOs, you'll feel instantly at home. And of course, Smite 2 <coughs> feels great on keyboard and mouse, or on control. Naturally, Smite 2 has a diverse roster of gods representing mythological pantheons from around the world, all updated <laughs> for UE5. Some, like Loki, stay true to the god you love in Smite 1. They just look a lot better. Others, like Anubis, have incredible new animations and godly effects flexing the power of UE5. <laughs> Some are reimagined with new abilities. That's right, Ymir's wall now knocks up enemies, and he can use it to rocket jump. At least yep. as much as a frost giant can jump. And some have an all new look that stays true to their Smite 1 legacy while updating it for a new era. Yep. Here's an early look at Smite 2's need, who feels much more mythologically appropriate than before. And of course, Smite 2 has all new gods. Introducing Hikati, whose flowing robes and otherworldly effects are only possible in UE5. Hikati, the Greek goddess of sorcery, has been the <coughs> single most community requested god for Smite. Players have felt her impact in Smite for years through the item Ring of Hikati, but now they will finally be able to play as the legendary witch herself. Hikati brings an elegant playstyle to Smite 2 with her ranged Let's go. magical abilities. Let's her magic go. allows her to reach through dimensions and even travel within the liminal space itself. Hecate's flames can guide the way, or her sorcery can bring I'm gods ready. to the The choice is yours. Hecate is the first of five all-new gods coming to Smite 2 before launch. But we can't give everything away just yet. Smite 2 is more than just Smite. Smite 2 is our chance to go back, take all the learnings from 10 years of making Smite into one of the most yep. successful multiplayer games of all time. And do it all strictly better. Not just better in some ways and worse than others, but undeniably better. There are improvements you'll see straight away. Smite 2 leverages things like dynamic lighting, using physically based rendering, cloth simulation, higher polygon counts, and a whole slew of other features that we weren't able to take advantage of in Smite. Our goal has been to enhance the visuals in all areas while preserving the feel of Smite that our players love. Let's go. We've made improvements to things like animation, <laughs> effects, environment art. God, it looks but so we're just good, as proud man. Of the hundreds of little touches. Oh, it looks so good. That you'll appreciate, even if you don't consciously oh. notice them. Smite 2 should just feel better. For example, something as simple as a jump animation is at a major overhaul, allowing for a smoother flow, providing oh, context, so and impact. Ability effects are all new, taking full advantage of Niagara. Watch how Anher's pillar dissolves into sand, how Chalk's rain wets the ground, and how Ymir's wall freezes the nearby environment. These effects will increase your immersion in the world and your sense of godly power. It's already. We looked at every I'm god ready. and made subtle changes to stay true to the god. Whether it's a visual balance pass, an overall fresh Everything coat of paint, looks so or good, minor dude. proportional changes so Chuck doesn't have a dab on it. 
no matter how big or small. We've been looking into everything and working hard to really push the boundaries of what Smite 2 can be. Every aspect of the presentation is being considered to create an improved experience. Smite 2 is also strictly better technically than Smite in pretty much every this way. This is the big part. Our this is the big part. This is the big part. Millions of concurrent users. The Smite 1 players know that our old monolithic matchmaking core had a tendency of dying long before we had that many players. Smite 2 will have an all new custom matchmaking system, which is specifically designed to tackle the unique challenges of matchmaking for a MOBA and Ranked will be reimagined with a brand new system that aims to bring the competition to more players than ever. It's so all ground up, guys. battle for the number one spot in the world. Smite 1's UI runs on Flash. Yes, that Flash, which has long kept us mm -hmm. from creating a modern UI with polish and performance yeah. that's finally possible yeah. in Smite 2. The UI in Smite, in Smite is, is literally is a Flash. Title, taking full advantage of modern hardware. Smite yep. 2 will support full crossplay across PC, Steam Deck, Xbox Series X and yep. S, and PlayStation 5. Smite 2 is a game where fighting feels strictly better than ever, so you can feel more like a god with additional impact on every hit. Weapon movements leave trails, making mm -hmm. attacks more visible. Upper and lower body animations are more in sync, positioning your character within the action. Specific animations and effects have been retuned to add more impact than before. CC status and immunity are now clearly communicated on nameplates, so it's easier to read the flow of combat. And work has been done on the UI and user experience to make sure you truly feel when you're hitting your enemies and being hit. God, and perhaps it's gonna be most so importantly, good. it's a game with strictly better yes. tactical and strategic depth than Smite 1. We've completely overhauled the idea of items and relics in Smite 2 yep. to open the doors for more creativity, expression, and experimentation in every game you play. No more relics. First up, relics are gone, at least as you know Oof. them. Now every god has two buttons by default, purification beads to immune yep. crowd control, and a warding slot used specifically for your choice of vision control options. What about the other former relic options and items? Well, now your entire six slot item inventory can potentially have an activated effect, triggered by a button. Welcome to Dota, burn, baby! Amulet. And don't worry, if you don't want to think about using any extra buttons yep. in combat, you can still build items that are focused on stats and passives instead. The choice is yours in this new system. The item store is now easier to navigate with an entirely new way to build items. Want to cool it down item and don't want to scour 30 different trees? Mm -hmm. Don't want to have to decide now what finished item you'll need in five they minutes? They went to the don't classic worry. MOBA item system. And every single item with attack speed can be built out of that. They button. went to like and the League Dota system. It's so much before. better. Gods are no it's longer so just magical better. or physical. Each god will now have two different sources of power, strength and intelligence. Different abilities within each god's kit will Crit stand differently Ymir! and all gods will be able to build all items. Face punch Ymir with crit is Yuck. back. Hunters that used to do it all like Kernanos now will need to build int in order to increase damage on certain abilities, like his polymer. Yep. And new hybrid utility options let Chalk build int to buff his healing. Yep. And it's even more new in Smite 2 to reward you for tactically and creatively playing the Conquest map. Ambush your enemies from new stealth zones and make clutch rotations through portals connecting outer lanes. Battle against the Fire Giant, fully <laughs> equipped with new abilities and new tactical approaches. Like the back door, you can open to sneak in for a steal. Earn game-changing buffs as you defeat the Gold Fury, hmm. culminating in the Ancient Fury, a new game-ending objective. Gain every advantage through mastering new lane and yep. jungle mechanics. New minion formations and siege minions will make laning more rewarding, while an evolving jungle introduces new strategy <laughs> to jungling. And there's an all-new way to intentionally interact with the map through a button press. Use this to fight over the Warhorn, which strengthens your minions, or to pick up a buff. That's right, there are no more accidental buff pickups in Smite 2. As we've said before, Smite 2 is a true yep. sequel to Smite and a new standalone game. So let's address the question on everyone's mind. Existing content from Smite 1 will not directly will transfer not. to Smite 2, but don't it's worry. Okay. Just because your content okay. doesn't directly transfer doesn't mean we're not rewarding our loyal players. It'll in be Smite okay, I promise. For their time, they came up with a really money, good system. It's a really good First, system. Let's talk about why we are not directly transferring content. They can't. Smite 2 is a multi generational leap from Smite 1, moving from Unreal 3 to Unreal 5. That means we have to completely rework or recreate every piece of content for it to function in Smite 2. Currently, because we want to make sure all the content that goes into Smite 2 is strictly better, it takes about two months of work to get one skin from Smite to Smite 2. And that's if we just port it with effects without making other yep. meaningful improvements. As of today, there are about 1,600 skins in Smite, excluding mastery skins. To just port every skin to Smite 2, it would take about 246 person years of work 
and we couldn't do that and make Smite 2 as amazing as we knew it could be if we started fresh. <coughs> when we started this project, we made this hard call. We believed that our players wanted a better version of Smite more than anything else. So what will you get in Smite 2? This Introducing is cool. Introducing Legacy Gems and Divine Legacy. They're being Two really good. designed to make sure you get rewarded for your time, money, and achievements. Whether you grinded out daily logins or went hard on your gem sales, your Legacy Gems will be waiting for you in Smite 2. You'll receive Legacy Gems in Smite 2 equal to every single gem you've ever spent in Smite 1, free or purchased. Your Legacy Gems can be used to pay for 50% of most in-game purchases in Smite 2. So things like events, skins, battle passes in Smite 2 will all be yep. half off until you spend all of your Legacy Gems. And if oh, wait, you purchase more. any Smite 2 Founders Packs, we'll give you double your Legacy Gems, giving you the equivalent purchasing power to the gems you already spent in Smite 1. There you go. Stay tuned for more info on Smite 2's Founders Packs as we get closer to release. If you get the Founders and Pack, you get a one-to-one one one transfer. With an all new feature, Divine Legacy, going live in the first yep. update of Year 11. Through the Divine Legacy, you'll be rewarded for your progress for each year of Smite's history. We've tracked the gods you've mastered, the rank matches you've lost, the skins you've unlocked, and yep. the match hours you've played. You earn points for your progress in each year, and your points are tallied together to give you rewards. Yep. You'll get a number of Smite 2 badges to show up some of your amazing Smite 1 achievements, your rare skins, and your exact mastery level and star count on each god. Plus, you'll unlock up to 11 skins in Smite 2 free, one for each year of Smite. Even if you don't plan to move to Smite 2, the Divine Legacy has some amazing rewards for you. You'll get to choose any unlimited tier 4 and any unlimited tier 5 to unlock absolutely free in Smite 1. And if you've started Smite more recently, don't worry. You can still make progress on your Divine Legacy throughout <coughs> year 11 and eventually unlock I'm telling you, bro. There's something else brand new coming to Smite in year 11. Cross-gen skins. Cross With Smite 2 approaching, we built a whole new skin production pipeline cool to too. make content that you'll get both in Smite 1 and in Smite 2. You can unlock two cross-gen skins today with the Smite Legacy Pass DLC, available now in Smite. This pack includes the new cross-gen Untamed Bologna skin, the new cross-gen Batty Bat Jingwei skin, a boost to Divine Legacy progress in Year 11, and more. There's not just one or two cross-gen skins this year. Every new Gem Purchasable skin released in Smite in Year 11 will be a cross-gen skin. Unlocked for you in Smite 2 as soon as that god is available yep. to play. And as an added benefit, you'll get Legacy Gems in Smite 2 for every gem you spend on these cross-gen skins or any Smite 1 content. They're being We're so good, man. We're so excited cross-gen content They're being we're incredible. Year 11 with two all-new events built around the concept. First, battle passes are now cross-gen passes. Second, the Immortal Honor event, where we'll reveal two new gods transitioning to Smite 2 every month. And it's important to make clear once again, Smite 2 is a true sequel. Smite 1 and all of your Smite 1 content will remain live and available for They're you to play. They're gonna both be available at the same Smite time. I know Smite's we not a going lot anywhere. of information at you today about Smite 2 and the Divine Legacy process. We've put together a rundown at smite2.com slash FAQ. We'll also continue to update you nonstop as more information about Smite 2 comes out. So follow at Smite Game on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. I mean, I mean X, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know we are committed to Smite 2 for years to come. And as a competitive game, that commitment starts with eSports. 2024 will be a transition year for the eSports scene as the Titan Forge eSports ecosystem moves from Smite to Smite 2 and evolves to answer a few of the community's most frequently heard concerns. More lands where you can join together in the audience and cheer on your favorite teams. A return of region-based rivalries with their unique metas. No more requirements for pros to live in Atlanta, allowing anyone to compete regardless of where they are from. Yep. An esports scene that is more open to anyone with the skill to win. And more freedom for players to sign sponsorship deals with whomever they want to. Introducing the Smite 2 Founders Series. A series of land majors that will be build the foundation of Smite 2 esports scene. Starting during Smite 2's alpha, teams will be able to form freely under a banner of their choice and play in online qualifiers. The best teams will earn their spots to play live in a Smite 2 LAN Major. These majors will be held in front of a live audience around the world. We can confirm today that in year one of Smite 2 Esports, 
there will be at least one major in the United States. And for the first time since 2017, competitive smite will be played in front of a crowd at a major in Europe or the nice. UK. Be sure to follow the Smite Pro X account to learn more about Smite 2 Founder Series and how you can take part. When we started development on Smite 2, we wanted to make the first great MOBA since Smite. We think <laughs> we're on the right track, but we're not done yet. There's a lot of work still left to be yeah. done. We're going to it's need still your early. help to make Smite it's 2 still as early. amazing as it can be. Because we believe the best games are developed alongside their communities. We've already begun early testing with SPL pros, Olympians, and some of your favorite content creators. Their feedback has been shaping the direction of Smite 2 for months. We expect you'll be able to get your hands on Smite 2 this spring in early alpha testing. Go to smite2.com right now to register for an alpha code. Keep in mind, this will be a true alpha. The game will still be rough around the edges and even in the middle, but we want you in the game to get your feedback as soon yep. as we can so that we're sure we're making the Smite 2 that you all want to play. For a few of you here in attendance at Esports Stadium Arlington, you'll get a special chance to play a private test of Smite 2 this weekend. There's so much more. We can't wait to tell you Let's about go. Smite 2. We didn't even have time to mention that voice packs in Smite 2 are now just unlocked automatically with each god. At 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, January 14th, immediately following the Smite Year 11 show match, We'll be live on stage here at Esports Stadium There's Arlington the seat. There's the seat. and streaming everywhere online for our very first Smite 2 Dev Insight Show. We'll talk more about our goals for Smite 2, showcase some development footage, and try to give a There's lot Sunday. more detail about our vision for Smite 2. And from now until Alpha, we're going to be diving deep on a new feature every week. We'll cover some things we've touched on here today and some we just didn't have time to get to, like our improved audio system, and how conquest roles are changing. If you want to be sure Praise to get all be. the latest news, Praise be for the new Smite audio 2 system. on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Epic <laughs> Games Store today, and follow at Smite Game everywhere. To all those watching in Arlington, hell yeah, or brother! Home, thank you for making the Smite community strong. We can't wait to take this first.